Murli Dulam. Today let us discuss about stateful versus stateless application architecture. So which one we need to select, whether it is stateful or stateless. Let us say we are trying to architect some application like e-commerce and different applications. So in that scenario, which one we need to select? Let us try to discuss that. So for that use case, let us see, we are trying to use, purchase some electronic items using Flipkart website. So we need to visit this website and we need to purchase some electronic items. So let us say is the user is trying to purchase web, uh, electronic item through website. For that first he is reaching load balancer. Let us say load balancer. So by using this load balancer he is trying to reach website and after that here it is typing www.flipcard.com flipcard.com here so once it is done request will be sent to backend pool servers different backend pool servers let us see server a server b server c different servers are there. let us see server a server b and server c backend pool servers okay. now request will be sending to backend pool servers here now the user is trying to purchase flipkart right for that he need to do first he need to log in after that, you need to do some add to cart and check in, check out and different things. Let us say add to cart. Okay. Once you enter credentials, then only you can do add to cart. Once you enter these credentials, then only you can start viewing this other details, like different details. Okay. Now, so the session will be stored in this server A. The session will be stored in this session A, sorry, server A. Suppose if this server goes down due to some issues, if the server goes down and now user is trying to access the website, load balancer is trying to send the request to server. This time there is no session stored in the state store in the server. Again, you need to do enter, login, add to cart. You need to do again, add to cart. Login, other things also. This one we are saying, also there is a database here. This one we are saying, stateful application. Application. Stateful application. So here the disadvantage is, suppose if you want to scale the entire system. If you want to scale the system, it's very difficult to do. Because here we need to scale entire systems. Also, state manager management also very different. To do it. Now, so let us observe real-time scenarios. Social media platforms like a, it shows like a personalized feed, feed and notifications based on your profile and activity. Other scenario is online chat application. So it maintains your connection and message history throughout your session. So these are all real-time scenarios. Advantages are stateful application advantages are rich user experience. Provides personal content and shopping carts and saved preferences. And apart from that, one more is efficient data processing. It can leverage stored information for faster responses. Now let us discuss about disadvantages. Just now we discussed it, right? Scalability. So managing user sessions can be complex with high traffic scalability. Also, more complex development and maintenance. So it requires robust state management. These are all disadvantages related to stateful application. Now let us discuss about stateless application. 
same user let us say same user is trying to access flipkart website okay. flipkart website this time load balancer load balancer so www.flipkart.com request will be sent to serverless so let us say here cloud managed servers are there serverless serverless they are all serverless also here state will be stored in the cache systems like redis cache let us say here i'm using redis cache redis cache redis cache also database is there now whenever user is trying to purchase some flipkart uh, electronics item now let us say now session state will be stored in this login and some add to cart let us say it will be stored in this cache it is cache it is cache so always whenever it requires it is trying to fetch it from cache whenever it is trying to do that. so whether it is doing on server a server b server c right no so you can start using this server stateless application stateless application architecture stateless application now so what are all real time scenarios website search each search query is processed independently regardless of previous searches regardless of previous searches can independently we can search and apart from that static web search static web page every time if you refresh the page it's like loading for the past these are all you can see real uh, real time scenarios for a stateless application and what are all advantages now now scalability first we can discuss about scalability easily we can handle the traffic as each request is independent we can scalable the traffic each request is independent here and next one simple to develop and maintain here no need to manage any user sessions no need to manage user sessions also let us discuss about disadvantages what are all disadvantages related to state uh, stateless applications so here the disadvantage is limited user experience we can't personalize pages or maintain user state user state also it may require more data transfer so it's repeatedly sending information already provided to multiple times multiple times now now we discussed stateless as well as stateful now it's time to decide which one we need to select So here the, the uh, few factors are there. We need to see that factors. Based on that, we can see whether we can go for stateless or stateful application. First one we need to see scalability requirements. Higher traffic is there, then stateless might be the better. And second one is user experience complexity. Stateful offers personalization. and context aware function and other parameter is development resources and expertise stateless is generally simpler to develop so based on these three scalability requirements user experience complexity development resource and expertise based on these three factors we can decide whether we can go for stateless or stateful applications also whenever you are designing hybrid 
it's a combination of stateless and stateful compiler. So this is all about a stateful versus stateless application. Next time we'll come up with other topic. Stay tuned. Thank you.